if you're wondering if you should still consider buying a pre-owned or a used iPhone in 2023, I have the answer for you. Welcome to TechPod ZA, my name is Musan Ziane. So it's 2023 and iPhone prices haven't dropped. And the big question is, should you or should you not go ahead and buy that pre-owned iPhone? My answer is a definite yes, you should go ahead and buy that pre-owned iPhone. In fact, I think 2023 is the perfect year to buy a pre-owned iPhone. There hasn't been a better year for the pre-owned iPhone market than 2023. So in this video, I'll tell you why I still recommend a pre-owned iPhone and I'll tell you why I think 2023 is the perfect year to go that route. So let's get to it. First thing, let us agree that iPhones are just expensive in South Africa. The latest iPhone 14 starts from 21,500 all the way up to 43,000 rands for the iPhone 14 Pro Max in one terabyte. I've seen on social media people comparing that iPhone because of the price tag to buying a third hand or second hand car. That's how expensive it is. That is the first point that I wanted to get out of the way. The second point is that everything in South Africa has just been going up. Everything has been increasing in price. iPhones have been expensive even before these increases that we've been seeing recently. So those two points on their own are good enough to justify why you should be looking at the pre-owned iPhones market. So let's talk about trade-ins in South Africa. Trade-ins have become popular and even more popular in the iPhone world. What that means is that the pre-owned iPhone market is also growing due to the high number of trade-ins that we see a lot lately. Now I've also mentioned in a previous video that this is now applied even to contracts. There is ways in which you can also trade in every year even when you're on a contract. There is also another program by iStore called Trade In and Trade Up that also allows you to get a new phone every year. We'll talk about how that works in a separate video. I've spoken about this in my previous video because every year there is a new iPhone that hits the shelf. A lot of people tend to trade in their current iPhones to get a newer one. So essentially what that means is that we are going to start seeing a lot of newer devices in the pre-owned market. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you visit iStorePreOwned.co.za, which is a site that I spoke about in my previous video on where to buy pre-owned iPhones, if you click under iPhone, you should be able to see there that there is actually iPhone 13 showing up there. Now iPhone 13 is not the latest iPhone, but it is the previous iPhone. In fact, iPhone 13 is a 2022 iPhone. What I mean is that the iPhone 13 was released late in 2021 for 2022, just like the iPhone 14 was released late in 2022 for 2023. The iPhone 14 is a 2023 phone and the iPhone 13 is a 2022 phone. But we already start to see a lot of iPhone 13s in the pre-owned market. This is good news, obviously, because it means that there is newer devices and devices that are in a better condition that should function much, much better because they are not that old. So this is one of the biggest reasons why I say right now is the perfect time to be considering buying used and pre-owned iPhones. So there is a lot to look forward to there. And by the way, if you're enjoying this content and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing so that you can know when next videos drop. Let's continue. Now on to the last thing that I wanted to show you about the pre-owned market is that it can allow you to tap into the Pro and the Pro Max models. We all know that the Pro and the Pro Max models are the most expensive in the iPhone lineup. Now, most people want to own that phone with those three cameras, but you have seen that those will actually start somewhere around 28,000 rands. Now, if you look in the pre-owned markets, you'll be able to see that you can get the previous Pro models at a much lower price. Now, if you're willing to go pre-owned, you can look at your budget. Instead of buying a standard current, you can actually consider buying a previous Pro model pre-owned. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. If you go again to iStorePreOwned.co.za, and then you select under iPhone, you can see that they actually have 
iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. And if you click there, you should be able to see that the prices are much more cheaper than they were previously when these phones were still new. And if you're willing to go through this route, then you should be able to get yourself a Pro model, which obviously will come with a lot of capabilities. It will come with those three cameras, that extra lens that you don't find in the standard phone. And if it's a Pro Max, then you are getting that bigger size, which before there was no other option. It's only with the iPhone 14 that you do have the iPhone 14 Plus. But previously with the 12, with the 11 and with the 13, you had to go for the Pro model if you want a phone with a bigger screen. So now using the pre-owned market, you should be able to get yourself a good Pro Max out there at a slightly cheaper price. So that is one other advantage of buying pre-owned iPhones in 2023. And that brings us to the end of this video. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button, and then share this video with other people that might find it useful. I'll catch you on the next video.